Hi guys, welcome back to Sadi. Today we are going to cover part four of lecture fifteen, which will be the last part of lecture fifteen, in which we are going to study what is function with arguments. In previous lecture, we have understood already what are the arguments and types of arguments of the functions, and here we are going to see what is function with arguments so let me first introduce to function with arguments the function which will accept parameters at the time of calling the function that will be called function with arguments okay we have some functions which can accept any parameters for their calculations or under the statements of which we can use those arguments then we use function with arguments that means when user don't want uh, to pass the things at the time of creation of the function but he want that when user will use the program then he will pass any values and according to which the user will create the calculation and then see output or return something so here we will make some programs and the programs will be uh, firstly we will see one argument with no return and here you can see the syntax for which uh, let us suppose we have a function 1 and it will accept a argument and here we have statements then it is called one argument with no return function because we are not returning anything in this program okay so let me make this function Uh, let me go here and let me remove previous things and now let me make a function here and let me make it as function n uh, function 1 and here it will accept argument and now we can print something here let us suppose we have arg 1 uh, is past as argument okay we can do like this or anything you want and that will be the statements here let us suppose we have here printed that uh, uh sorry program finished okay so we have masses here now let me save and now when will call this function let me call okay let me close close this uh i have called this before calling the function uh, let me come out here and let me call here function 1 and here we can pass arg1 value so let me pass here 10 okay so it is the argument which is passed that means it is the parameter for arg1 and here Ten is passed as argument will be printed. Let me save and see. Okay, it is showing our ten is passed as argument. Program finished. Okay, we have done. So, it is one type of function with arguments. Let us see another type of function argument, which will be one argument with returning something. okay let us suppose we have a function 1 which will accept arg1 and it will only return the value but not print anything okay we can also make some statements here and after those at the last we will return something so let me save and show you how we will do uh, let us suppose we have 10 is passed as argument all these things are here and we will return something okay so i will return here i let me return uh the values uh suppose we have a list and under this we have arg1 and also 10 100 like things okay so we have here arg1 and 10 and 100 these are the things which are returning so we can have a variable which will accept these returning values so we have called here function 1 and we are passing here 10 okay let us suppose we have passed here values okay values and now we can have a variable so let me make a variable here and let me make it as var and under this var 
these returning values that means values is going on here and now it will be here in arg1 and now 10 and 100 that means it will return values 10 100 under a list so where will be a list of these three things okay now let me print here where okay i will here print just where now let me save and run this okay you are saying here that it is returning values 10 100 at the last that means we can use this let us suppose we have here print and we are trying to do this after returning okay okay let me save and run this uh, because uh, we have done here uh, this thing here let me comment this and let me run this then it will not so that thing because this print function is not under this function because return will be at the last of the function that means it should be at the last of all the statements under a function and all these things which are after this will be discarded because program is now after this function that means it will ex go to this line and at the last this line that means it will not see this line okay so it is not printing out program finished so we have done these things also uh, let me show you another type of function which will have two argument and it will be without return so we can do like this uh, let me go here and here let me give here argument one and argument two and we can return here let us suppose we have only arg1 and arg2 so we are just returning arg1 and arg2 uh, with adding 10 in arg1 and with adding 20 in arg2 okay so it will return and it will go to where uh, let us uh, we have all uh, we are watching two arguments without return okay so we should not return something and we can pass here arg1 and arg2 are passed as arguments okay we can have these things and let us suppose it will print program finish at the last and uh, let us run this function okay and under this uh, we can pass here the, like value 1 and value 2 okay these two things are passed as argument and and argument 2 and now we can remove this line let me print it as I comment and now you will see here that it is printing out value 1 value 2 or passed as arguments program finished okay let us see another type of function which will have multiple arguments and with return so we will do like this let us go here and it will accept multiple arguments okay we can have uh, like a b c d e anything we can pass and we can also use like this asterisk a okay so it will be called arbitrary arguments and we will see arbitrary arguments and also double star k w a args arguments in next video don't worry about that so we will see these two things in last uh, uh, in next video so i will just show you uh, here um, like these things a b c d e f uh, okay let us suppose we have here c d and these are the multiple arguments which are passed here that means 1 2 
थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एंड लेट अस सपोज वी हैव दिस टी एंड सी डी और की वर्ड आर्गुमेंट सो विल पास हियर टेन दैट मीन्स द डिफॉल्ट थिंग्स आर पास हियर इन डी एंड लेट अस सपोज वी हैव ओनली नन हियर ओके वी कैन ऑल्सो पास सी डी इक्वल टू नन सपोज वी डोंट वॉन्ट टू पास एनी थिंग इन सी डी बाई डिफॉल्ट सो दिस टू डिफॉल्ट आर्गुमेंट्स विल हैव फर्स्टली टेन इन डी एंड नन इन सी डी एंड वी कैन हैव हियर ए बी सी एंड आर्ग वन एंड आर्ग टू आर द रिक्वायर्ड आर्गुमेंट सो दीज आर दिंग्स एंड नाउ वी कैन मेक बी एंड सी एज वट वी कैन हैव दीज टू थिंग्स एज डिफॉल्ट आर्गुमेंट सॉरी की वर्ड आर्गुमेंट सो वील कॉल दीज थिंग्स लाइक दिस लेट अस सपोज वी हैव फंक्शन वन वैल्यूज वन वैल्यूज टू विल बी गो to arg1 and arg2 let us suppose we have a value for a that is 10 and let us suppose we have c we are calling directly c but not b so we can do like this as the keyword argument so we'll have c as 100 and b as let us suppose we have here um, value 3 okay and now let us suppose we have d that means d is default so let us suppose we are not passing the values for d and for cd let us suppose we are passing here cd equals true okay we can pass like these things also and let us suppose we are printing here arg1 arg2 uh, a b c and d and cd okay all these things will be printed here so let me save and see it is showing out or not okay it is showing out value 1 value 2 10 value 3 100 10 and true so you can see these things that we are passing these things like this value 1 will be for arg1 value 2 will be for arg2 and 10 we are passing for a so 10 will be go to a and here we are passing c equal to 10 that means b equal to value 3 will be printed previously so it will print here value 3 first and then c will be printed here that means c is 100 and 10 we are passing by default which is d is equal to 10 and now we are changing here c d is equal to true so it will print here true so we have seen all type of function with arguments we, you can practice on some exercise questions which are giving here so we can have these three questions we will solve these three questions in next video so you can practice on this and send me the answers on comment box or also in my email id stay tuned thanks for watching